Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for the next quarterfinal middleweight match scheduled for a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing Pedigo Jiu-Jitsu, Mount Vernon, Illinois, please welcome the Hillbilly Hammer, Jacob Couch! The Hillbilly Hammer, Jacob Couch of Pedigo Submission Fighting, Hailing from Hazard, Kentucky, now based in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Given the chance of a lifetime here to come and compete in the Who's Number One Championship middleweight division as a last minute alternate. He says he wants to be the Rocky of the tournament and this would be one way to start. We already saw Amanda Levy pull off the upset. Let's see if Jacob Couch can do the same here in his match with Roberto Jimenez. And his opponent, out of the red corner, representing Studio 76 Jiu-Jitsu, Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Ecuador. He is the number two ranked middleweight no-gi grappler in the world. Please welcome Roberto Jimenez. Roberto Jimenez, one of the... The fan favorites in this tournament, I would say, Chase. This guy, what an incredible competitor he is. We love having him here on Who's Number One, and he returns to enter this tournament. And I feel it's, uh, he's definitely one of the favorites in this division. If you feel your back is going close to the edge, try to circle around, all right? Bring the fight, shake hands, step back. Wait for me, guys. On the right of the screen, Roberto Jimenez with the red angle band. Jacob Couch immediately pulling guard. And definitely, I think this is a, a real underdog story, right, Chase? That Roberto, by far the favorite, but let's not sleep on Jacob Couch. No, and he's got the tools to do it. A great leg locker, and already in on an entry here, hunting for the heel. The heel's a little bit, a little bit shallow. It's going to come out here, and Roberto might be able to take the back, but Jacob Couch is right where he wants to be in this match. Roberto is dry, and this is a lot of torque already up on the knee. My word, that was a strong start there and not over yet. The, the couch is still cranking on that heel. Doesn't have the optimal position from which to finish this, but that's not by no means to say that he can't execute a leg lock. But if there is one weakness that we know from Roberto Jimenez, it is, ge Roberto Jimenez, it is generally that he has a... Okay, uh, now it's looking a little better. Again, this, this is, is much better. Deep. Jimenez is rolling for his life here. Okay, now the, the heel has, uh, he lost his grip here on, on the heel hook and Roberto's in a much better spot, but still definitely not out of danger. And Couch is trying to re-grip here. Oh, and now he manages to get his leg out of danger and is now in a better position to attack, but we may see Couch go for the inside heel hook here. He does seem to have locked on the, the inside Sankaku position. He's searching for that heel on the inside, this now is, searching for the other angle. He's got it wrapped. He's got it wrapped. This is on. Hand fighting from Jimenez. He gets it. It's on. It's on. Roberto is bridging up. His hand floated for a second. It looked like he was close to tapping. He's still hand fighting. His heel is very much in danger here. Roberto did a nice... Oh! Submission! Submission for Jacob Couch. Jacob Couch, the biggest underdog in this division, takes out the favorite, the minus 700 favorite, Roberto Jimenez, with an inside heel hook in the opening round. Man, I hope Roberto's all right. Definitely a verbal tap there. Saw him grab his knee afterwards, but he seems to be walking okay on it, but... Ladies and gentlemen, this match comes to an end at 1 minute 54 seconds. Your winner by submission, heel hook, and advancing to the semifinals, Jacob Couch! Jacob Couch, we knew that he was looking for that leg lock even before the match started. We knew that Roberto Jimenez's one great weakness 